Hi guys, I wanted to explain our assignment just a little bit. Your assignment for today is to look at as many Eric Carle books as you can. I have done a couple read alouds, I think three or four, so you can look at those as well so that you can see his art. If you'd like and your parents are okay with it, you could even Google search images of his other books so that you can see his artwork. And then I want you to do an adjective web of all the different things that come to mind when you see his pictures. So what colors do you see? What shapes do you see? What kinds of lines do you see? What is the background like? What do you think he's using? What media? Is he using paint, colored pencils, paper? What do you think he's using? So once you do the web, that's step one of the assignment. The rest of the assignment will actually come on Wednesday, but I wanted to give you a little bit of information about that as well so that you could start if you wanted. So Eric Carle's art is really specific, and he, when you see one of his pictures, you kind of know it's his, and that's a really cool thing that he does. So we're going to try to mimic what he does. And one of the things that um, you might notice is the different strokes. It's not all just plain color. It's kind of um, dimensional. There's more to it. So I did a quick example just to show you how you might want to start. I had some pink and some gray and I did the pink and I just did color first and then I used a fork. So I'm going to let you decide how I might have used the fork and how you might be able to use the fork. I also used a paintbrush but in a different way than a paintbrush is normally used. And I also used a toilet paper roll. So I kind of got some different sorts of strokes than you might normally get if you just were coloring or painting. So if you do want to start and get, get going a little bit before Wednesday, what I would ask you to do is make maybe a sheet of paper that has one or two separate colors on it. So instead of mixing lots of colors, think about how you could do one or two colors per sheet and keep a chunk of blues together and maybe a chunk of pinks together and a chunk of oranges and maybe a tiny bit of yellow together. Um, we've talked a little bit about warm and cool colors and that might be a good way to work this out to maybe do one sheet of cool colors, one sheet of warm colors. But it's all going to be kind of practice before Wednesday when you get your actual assignment. I hope you guys have a great day and good luck kind of starting doing some Eric Carle type work. I'll see you soon.